Hi, this is Polly from thefitmumformula.com and today I'm asking the question, how many calories does exercise burn and what's the difference in calories burned between different types of exercise? Now, you've all seen those types of workouts where they say there are 500 calorie burning this or a 200 or a 700 calorie that workout or maybe it's been on some exercise equipment like on a treadmill in a gym and some of them have on the dashboard, it'll tell you how many calories you've burned depending on how much you've done. Now, here's why I do don't like these numbers and why I don't use them in my coaching and the simple reason is that there is no exact number and it's going to be very very different for each individual person and it depends on a number of factors so number one is your body size the bigger a person is the more calories you will burn that's not just in terms of um, height and build for example men will generally burn off more in a certain exercise than a woman would but purely because a woman is usually a smaller person or a woman who is five foot five and weighs 200 pounds is gonna burn off a lot more calories in that workout than a five foot five woman who is 100 pounds so the bigger you are the more calories you're going to burn and that also means that the more weight you lose the lighter and smaller you get the fewer calories you're going to be burning in that workout now there's also another caveat to that and that's muscle because muscle mass burns more calories just by being there than fat does so somebody who is say a dress size 12 who is not particularly toned not particularly strong they are a size uh, just a size 12 um, but they don't have a lot of muscle they're gonna burn a lot fewer calories in that workout than somebody who is a size 12 but is a size 12 of muscle they're really strong and toned that person is gonna burn a lot more calories just because they've got more muscle on them. Another thing that you need to take into consideration is intensity. If I told you I want you to sprint from one end of a field to the other and I want to put you to put in um, 8 out of 10 effort. Now there are some studies done on perceived exertion and actually people are quite good at judging how much effort they're putting in but nevertheless it's not an exact science and what one person's perception of 8 out of 10 is is going to be different to another person so even if they're exactly the same kind of build, weight, height, muscle mass, if one person's putting more effort into a certain exercise than another person they're going to be burning more calories and then there's some other things which are completely out of our control like temperature when you expose your body to the cold it has to use up energy to uh, to keep you warm now it also can go the other way in that in some respects your body will tune into storing fat to keep you warm so it kind of can work both ways but basically temperature has an effect and generally you will be burning off more calories when you're cold than when you're warm just to keep you warm it revs up your metabolism so if you're working outside wearing skimpy clothes in winter when it's chilly um, not only are you going to be burning more calories to keep warm but also you're going to be inclined to keep moving and keep being more active um, just to keep you warm you know you'll be jogging on the spot because otherwise you'll be chilly whereas if it was a really really hot day you're more inclined to just sit back and relax because it's uncomfortable to get even more hot than you are so I don't think I really need to go in any further than this but it's safe to say that those numbers that people like to give you saying that this workout burns this amount that workout burns that amount it really is so yes you can give a rough ballpark but it really is so rough that it's almost completely irrelevant i never use calorie counters when it comes to exercise and one thing i do want to point out is that exercise doesn't burn off as many calories as most people like to think and that sometimes can be a reason why somebody's doing a lot of exercise but they're not losing any weight because they think they've burnt off x amount so therefore they think they can justify that by having 
uh, or something else, something to eat, uh, like a piece of cake in the gym cafe afterwards, because they think they've burnt off more than they're eating, but actually they haven't, and that's quite a common thing I see, but, and a reason people aren't just just aren't making progress with their weight loss because they're still consuming more calories than they're burning, and also finally the numbers that these give, even if they were totally accurate, they're still giving you a number that you've burnt off. Overall, not taking into account some of those calories you would have burnt off anyway. So let's say there's a workout and we know for a fact that that workout is going to make you burn 300 calories. If you'd spent that hour or half an hour on the sofa watching TV, you still would have burnt some calories. Remember, your lungs have to move in and out. Your your blood has to go, th go around your body. Your heart has to pump. You're going to be breathing and moving around a little bit even when you're just sitting on the sofa you know all your organs have to keep working and that uses up calories so those 300 calories from that workout that's not 300 calories extra that's 300 calories in total but chances are within that hour you would have burnt off 100 maybe even more just by sitting on the sofa so it doesn't burn off nearly as much as you think now what can you take away from this now don't panic it doesn't mean that you've got nothing to go on but if you have an exercise plan, a workout plan, and a food plan, the best thing to do is stick to it, okay? Consistency is the best thing. Stick to it for a good one, two, preferably three weeks or even four weeks. See how you're making progress. If you've stuck to it properly, it doesn't count if you're going completely off track because then you haven't stuck to the plan. Stick to the plan. At the end of those three, four weeks, assess how has your fitness improved? Have you lost weight? Have you toned up? Have you maybe not lost weight but you've got smaller? So that means that you are losing fat but you're building more muscle at the same time. Make a marker of all of these things and then go from there. If you are making progress and you're enjoying what you're doing and you can keep it up, great, keep doing it. If it's not doing and ha what you want it to do, if it's not giving you the effect that it's not that you want, then something needs changing somewhere. Maybe you need to change the amount of exercise you do, maybe it's the type, maybe it's and it often is the diet that needs addressing more. All sorts of things you can change. But really the only way to have an answer as to whether what you're doing is working for you is just to do it and then assess the real results and tweak as necessary. I hope that was helpful. Please like, comment and subscribe on YouTube to these videos if you find them helpful and share it or tag a friend underneath who might benefit from also watching this video. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Polly from the fitmumformula.com.